kind of blocked. Oh, how did I sneak that one in? Did that go in too? Oh, just a little high. We're taking it back a little ways today, guys. The Red Dragon Snake Bite number threes. The review starts right now. What's up guys worldwide here we got a great video for you today but hey before we get into it just want to let you know that we're having some record setting hot temperatures here i've got my door open i've got two air conditioners going in the background i've got some fans on so if there's some humming or background noise throughout the duration of this video i apologize but just trying to stay cool here and uh, you know what it's it's not working too well but yeah in this video we're going old school today we're gonna be taking a close-up look at the red dragon peter wright snake bite number three so yeah way back i think these came out somewhere i don't know 2014 something like that so yeah they've been on the market for a really long time and believe it or not never tried them up until now so really excited to throw these things and uh, i think it should make for a pretty good review so i won't keep you waiting any longer let's grab the other camera we'll go over the stats and dimensions same thing we always do you know how it goes here and um, after we take a close-up look and do all that stuff i'll get them on the board i'll throw them for a little bit and I'll give you some feedback on what I think of the Peter Wright snake bite number three. So here we go. Okay, guys, we've got these snake bite number threes here. And I think as everybody knows, they've been out on the market now for like something like seven years. And what are we up to nowadays? Something like the snake bite 27s. I don't know. He just has a lot of darts on the market, doesn't he? But we've got the new packaging here. We've got a pull tab. Has the slide out tray with a foam insert. Obviously, the darts go here so yeah nice packaging all around but we're here for the darts right and you know what I'm gonna throw my opinion out right now out of all the Peter Wright darts this set is one of the most underrated sets in the entire collection you know what just genuinely a nice set of darts here we've got some razor grip in the middle and when I talk about the grip I think a lot of you are gonna be really surprised at the grip level on these things but on the back end we got the nitro tech stems and for the back We've got the Snakebite Hardcore Standard Size Flights. But what do you say? We get a little bit closer look, and I'm going to hit you with all these stats and dimensions you need to know. So, uh, yeah, here we go, guys. Okay, there you go. A little closer look at the darts there. Come on, you got to admit, that has a great-looking set of basic bomb-shaped barrels, right? I got no complaints here whatsoever. So I guess we can start on the front end. We've got some black 32-millimeter points, of which... 28 millimeters is showing if I mean if it was up to me I would definitely repoint these things a little longer point and um, maybe a specialty point on the front end like hey some red dragon trident points that would work well now the barrels themselves 90 percent tungsten the barrel length coming in rather short at 40.7 millimeters long in the barrel width see if I can point this out right here right on this elongated nose cone right there 7.3 millimeters wide at the widest point however Pretty much, we're going to be gripping right here on this razor grip section. So this razor grip section is 7.15 millimeters wide. So not quite as wide as you would expect. Now, for the match weighting, guys, I have an entire separate clip for this. And as you're about to see, it's well worth it. So let's check out the match weighting. Okay, guys, so I usually don't weigh darts on video because I think it makes for the most boring thing ever. However, you see this. They're advertised as 22 grams. But I think we can make an exception in this case. So first one, 22, zero, zero. The second one, 20, whoops, 22, zero, zero. And I think you know where this is going. The third one, yep, yeah, 22, zero, zero. And honestly, that is really, really rare in the world of darts. You've got three barrels all bang on 22.00 grams perfect advertised weight perfect match weighting it doesn't get any better than that guys that is perfect okay guys like i said earlier in the video i think you're going to be surprised at the grip level here i know that i was because when i was shopping online when i'm looking at the pictures obviously you see the razor grip and i think we all know razor grip is usually hella grippy right well i don't know maybe it's because these are machined so close together Honestly, this feels like a micro multi-ring grip. There are absolutely no sharp edges whatsoever. Matter of fact, that's smooth to the touch. 
As a result, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and give these a level two grip on a scale of one to five. Imagine that razor grip coming in at level two. Never seen anything like it. Matter of fact, these are probably the least grippy razor grip barrels I've ever felt in my life. So uh, yeah, I guess there's that. We've got the gold snakehead logo there. The gold looks really awesome against this black coating. We've got the red dragon logo there, again, in gold. We've got this elongated nose cone, and like I said, the widest part of the barrel, kind of right there, about three inches into this nose cone. You definitely feel a little bit of a ridge there, a little bit of a hump, but as far as the grip goes, I'm going to be gripping two-finger grip right on the razor grips with maybe my middle finger resting on the bottom of the nose cone, but that's about it. I will put on the Trident 180 nose cones to get rid of that lip right there where the point meets the barrel. But uh, that's it, guys. Basic set of darts and a little bit chunkier than I'm used to, but what do you say we get these things on the board? And uh, I'm going to be throwing them stock out of the package, as you see here. So yeah, I'm kind of excited to throw these things and uh, see how they perform. So here we go. Okay, guys, a little bit past 6 o'clock at night. It's getting warm in here, so let's wrap this up. We'll have about, what do you think, five throws with a completely stock snake bite number threes here. Oh, and in case you're wondering, the drink of choice tonight, other than water, lots of water, guys, we got the Ghost Blue Raspberry Energy Drink. Is it going to help? Nah, probably not. So, yeah, I've been warming up with these things for right about 10 minutes or so, and I have two major takeaways with them. The first being, oh, that was for a bullseye. The first is that these things feel a lot thinner than what they are. What I, what is the, uh, the wide point was what, 7.3 millimeters wide? Guys, they feel like a much, much thinner dart for, for whatever, uh, for whatever reason. I think it has a lot to do with maybe the, the nose cone because with this nose cone being so elongated, they were grouping really tight, so I, I don't know. They just don't feel like anywhere near a seven millimeter wide dart. Ooh, where's that going? But as far as the uh, setup that it comes with, the stock setup, I think that's a medium length Nitrotech stem. Perfect setup as is. I wouldn't bother changing a thing. Standard size flights, medium stem with a short barrel. Man, these things are working really well. Kind of blocked there. If you'll notice, they're standing up pretty good. Normally, I'd go for a cover shot, but I'm going to try to get up and around that. Ah, oh, I should have gone for the cover. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, they're, they're so easy to throw. I've got a two-finger grip right on the razor grip section, and... Um, yeah, just incredibly easy to throw. There we go. See, that's what I meant to do in that last turn. Let's see if I can sneak one more in there. Oop, did I? Oh, how did that not go in? Look at that. It deflected downwards. Ah, I think that was five turns. I'll press my luck, we'll do one more. Yeah, such an incredibly easy dart to throw. I would definitely highly recommend these things, to be honest with you. And then that's the third turn in a row where that first dart is right below that trouble 20. Let's see if we can get this one in. Ha, ah, that's what I meant to do last turn. Oh, well, there we go. As you see, they were flying pretty good. I had that one bad turn, but overall, guys, great set of darts. If I was to recommend these and give them a scale, I would say a 7.5 out of 10 is how I would recommend these to your average dart player. I think it's going to work well for most players. However, it's a short barrel. It might be thicker than a lot of people really prefer. But again, these feel way thinner than what they are. So there it is, guys. We've got a request. We're going to end the video off a little bit differently with a request. I'm going to show you that in a second. After that, we're going to do a uh, close-up at the a close-up of the last clip. And then we got an outtake for you today. Three turns on the trot at the very end of the video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the clips. We'll see ya.
Boom! Doing something different today, guys. So yeah, great place to end the video there. If you're wondering what's up with that. So I had a uh, request from a subscriber last week. Actually, I can put the message up there. Just wanted to see something a little different at the end of the video instead of your typical 180. So uh, there you go. And if you'd like to see something to end off the video with, let me know down below in the comments section and I'll see if I can accommodate um, accommodate for you. So uh, yeah, I guess that's it guys. We've got the other camera running up there. So we'll do another angle of that 171 or hey, if you're in the United States, they also call that a white horse if you're playing cricket. So uh, yeah, we got that clip, the close up, and I think I'm gonna do an outro or an outtakes, excuse me, where I have um, three turns on the trot trying to hit that white horse or 171. It was kind of getting frustrating, but yeah, I think the outtake will be funny. Um, so that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the close up look and review of the Red Dragon Peter Wright Snake Bite number threes. And I had a quick look around the internet. Cheapest place I could find them right now is at the Red Dragon store. 39 pounds, which is right around 50 US dollars, which, hey, that's a heck of a deal for a, a world champion set of their darts. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, and I hope you guys enjoyed these last two clips. Until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next video. And this board is so much softer than that Target. Later. Eighteen in? That's not. <laughs> no, that one's not in either. <laughs>